Welcome back to the channel guys, hope you're all having a great day. Hopefully my audio is turning out well. Not quite sure if it is. Um, I just got the last piece from my motor, from my motor box set up. Saturday morning, going for a quick little cruise around the neighborhood, around the block. I'm going to see time and I haven't been able to ride all week. So before we go on with the video, I'd like you guys to drop a comment down below, like and subscribe. It really means a lot to me. And uh, yeah. It really helps out the channel. It's really been growing more and more ever since I purchased the bike, so I'm really going to be pushing out more bike content with it. And um, yeah, so let's go on the video. So, for motor vlogging, I really want to do this for a long time, but I've never had a chance to. Now that I purchased the bike, I realize that now would be the best time more than ever to do it. But being a college student, I'm going to grow this up right now. So, I can't really purchase a GoPro setup with the media uh, stuff on it, so I had to piece together, uh, so I had to piece together a little uh, uh, monobog setup. So really cost effective. All, the, all in all, it would have cost if I had to purchase it all together. I'd say it would have cost me about under 400 bucks. The main thing all in all is the helmet. The helmet that I'm using right now is probably I purchased for when I was doing the MSA test on it and just like starting off. But anyway, I should I guess I'm still sorry, I purchased it a year ago. Um, the helmet I'm using is the Scorpia XO R320. It's an older model helmet, but to get the job done is DOT certified. But that's the main cost. The helmet itself, the helmet itself can vary depending on what you're comfortable with purging the thing or what it's boned. With that, the next thing would be the actual camera. I don't have a GoPro. I'm using an Akaso Brave 4 4K. You can shoot in 4K, you can shoot in 1080, you can take pictures and all that too. Um, I purchased this a while back to use for car content, but I never actually got to use it. So, what do you to use now with the motor vlog? It doesn't have much input for the external mic, which sucks, because a lot of other action cameras with, within the within the high range actually did. So after looking online for a while, I realized um, I went with the option of having an external recorder, an external voice recorder, and alongside that, an external mic connected to that, have my pocket. So the voice recorder, I, I, I chose a budget friendly one called the Mr. V508. Hopefully, it's doing the job right now. And for the mic, I'm using the mic I would use for my DSLR, which is a Boyle BYM1. Everything fixes this mirror, it keeps, fall, it keeps going backwards. Maybe some uh, uh, off table will do, do, will do the trick. So anyways, um, as we wait for my brother to get some gas, um, yeah, so, so my budget friendly, uh, my budget friendly motovlog setup is my helmet, which is the Scorpion R320 in matte black, because that's when that's the only difficulty they have my size, which is a triple XL because these do run do tend to run small. 
Um, besides that, um, the console brave 4 is the action camera, the boy will be one with M1 Cavalier mic, and the uh, and the Avista V508 the voice recorder. The voice recorder was about 65 bucks, the lovely mic was about 20 bucks, um, the helmet was about 150, and one, oh, and the action camera was about 150 as well. So, 300, about 350, 340 all, all in all, give or take what happens in where you live. And the bike itself is got a good deal on it, about, about $3,000, and it's been doing me well. So that's my cheap motor vlog. But hopefully it's going well right now. Um, too much for me. That's how you go from here, man.
down below if you guys enjoyed this video if you got it and uh, let's pray that the audio works <laughs> let's pray that the audio works i really appreciate all of you for following me along this journey thank you all for watching i'll catch you all in the next one peace